Well, we are here at the Tulare Thunder Bowl in Tulare, California, and it is night number one of Trophy Cup. Well, I just got all suited up. We are getting ready to get the night started here at the Thunder Bowl. Welcome back to today's video. If you guys have never heard of the Trophy Cup, it is arguably one of the biggest 360 sprint car races in the country. Tonight, we have 85 360s in the pit area. So as you can tell, it is highly competitive. I'm gonna be getting strapped in in just a couple of minutes. We are gonna be going out for wheel pack. Then we're gonna get right into hot laps and then straight into single car qualifying. So it's important with this format that we get out there, we lay down a good lap and that will start our trophy cup off on the right foot. Let's get the night started. not the start we were looking for for Trophy Cup. I just, uh, I made the same mistake twice. I knew exactly what I did wrong there on the first lap, rolled out, and for hot laps I felt pretty good. I think we were somewhere in the top 15, top 20. Just a good solid lap, kind of build some confidence and just figure out with where the track was at. And being the sixth car out in the second group, I, um, I fired off through one and two. I felt like it was all right, and then I got to three and four, and both times I just entered a little too low, and I slid through the good stuff, and then got the flop. And that just killed me. I mean, you can see that's all the dirt that was uh, packed under my front axle after I got into it the second time. So I just absolutely killed my time and I'm um, kind of hurting the start of tonight. But now we're going to start ninth in our heat race. We got to try to go forward. It just sucks. But as a driver, you kind of just have to put that behind you. I know myself best and I've always just struggled a little bit in qualifying. It's definitely an area I need to get better and better at. We're always a, a much better racer than a qualifier. So you're a trophy cup. You just got to put the whole night together and we will be back on track here soon for our heat race. We are ready to roll. Field uh, down the back stretch, ready to continue on with this race. It'll be Bradley Terrell on the inside. Once again, the 43 car. A little uh, wheel bumping off turn number four.
so we started ninth there in that heat race, ran eighth. I, uh, I felt really good on the end of three and four, but one and two, I felt like I needed some work, and we just changed some stuff on the race car to try to get it into the corner good. I feel like we have an awesome drive down the straightaways and on exit, but we just gotta try to get it to where we can put together a whole lap. So we're rolling off 11th here in the C main. They're taking four, it's probably a pretty short race, but I do think we can pass some guys, and as the racetrack's starting to widen out again, after the rework they did earlier, um, it's starting to get more racy. So hopefully there's a bottom. I think the top's gonna be quick as well. And if guys spread out a little bit, we can try to just pick them off uh, one by one. bit of a smile on my face. I know it's been a tough night, but we were able to transfer there from seventh. A couple guys dropped out or had to go to the work area, so we were able to bump up a row or two, but started seventh there, found the high side, and I just knew I needed to go up there and make it happen. I, I'm not saying I've been timid to start the night, but the top, the top is so treacherous at Tulare, and it's just not like any other track. It's rough, the holes are big, and you just gotta kinda get through them or even try to get above them, and I felt like I was able to do that, and man, my car felt great. Like, all the changes we made after the heat, I felt comfortable in the seat, and I think if we would've, you know, if we were actually racing theoretically like if that was an A main event and I was running fourth I think I could have rammed those guys down but we did what we needed to do and now we're still alive for the night and we're in the B main event so I'm just happy we're moving forward we didn't start how we wanted to but I'm starting to feel better in the seat and uh, man the Thunder Bowl is a, a place you have to respect a lot because it's uh, gnarly but a couple changes and we're right back on track starting last in May let's see if we can go forward and try to keep the car in one piece we want to see we are ready to roll off turn number four Colton Hardy to the outside of row one yeah, another slow start. But a nice even start. A little bit of a run.
he got hit, I believe, by Getz. Well, night number one of the 2021 Trophy Cup is in the books. We unfortunately did not make it through the B main event there. It actually turned into a little bit of a race of survival. Uh, we started 22nd, and I think just as the race went on, cars started dropping off. We missed a big wreck there on the first lap. Then there was another wreck probably about three or four laps later. And eventually we found ourselves in the top 10 racing with Justin Peck, Joel Myers Jr., and just trying to make as much ground up as possible. Now the line that I felt most comfortable running was actually more the top in one and two and the bottom in three and four. The top in three and four was gnarly. It just got so far around and it just lost any grip of really trying to keep your speed up. You could run it, you just had to be dang near perfect. So uh, I also worked on running the bottom all the way around and that came in towards the later part of the night. And overall, I would rate the racetrack almost a 10 out of 10 because you could move around, you could slide cars, it wasn't too rough and had some Tulare character mixed in with just a really racy racetrack. So uh, like I said, we'd not transfer through the B, we got the chance though to watch the A and overall, I think with everything um, we learned tonight, even with our qualifying session and all that, um, Everything we learned is going to be perfect for the rest of the weekend. So super happy with what we uh, were able to accomplish. Well, we got everything all pushed in the trailer. We obviously were hoping for a little bit better results for night number one as far as starting off with qualifying, but I just made a mistake. It put us behind the eight ball, and from there we just had to work forward. We ran our heat race. We're all right, not great really. Not gonna lie, just needed to make some better laps, and we made some adjustments to our race car. The C main though, I felt awesome. I was able to transfer, and then in the B main event, I survived. I made some good laps, raced with some guys, tried to be aggressive, and we didn't get really close to the transfer but we still made some really solid progress. And I feel like when something like that happens in qualifying, you don't already switch into the mode for getting ready for night number two, but you're just trying to learn as much as you can because obviously I did not get a lot of points, so I didn't put myself in a good position there, but I'm already just behind and I'm kind of an, at an uphill battle the rest of the night. So I feel like we have a great starting spot for tomorrow. I've only ran to Larry three times in the past, so I'm just continuing to get more laps here. But with 85 cars, the track was completely different tonight than when I was at those other shows when we maybe had like 30 or 35 sprints. I do want to give a quick shout out though to Lafarge, Carson Oil, Pit Stop USA, OMA KTM, Earth Environmental, Next Gen Def, Onsite Screeners, Fast 4 Media, ABC Powder Coating, as well as my crew and family and everyone that supports the 18T. But that is going to wrap up today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Night number one of the Trophy Cup is officially in the books and we have two nights left for this event. For my first time running it, I will say it's intense it's up on the wheel and overall it's just hilarious i mean you have the inside wall you have the wall on the outside you have a curb you have a slider line a diamond line tight racing nobody's giving anyone an inch so overall you just have to race as hard as you can and put your best foot forward but uh, it's time to get some rest and we'll be ready to roll in the morning do some maintenance and then be ready to hit the track in the afternoon and i will see you guys all there and bring you along bring you along with me for my journey this weekend see you guys all tomorrow deuces